You guys want to know a secret? Shalom and welcome to thecodesearcher.com. That's what this channel is about, right? Searching out codes. You want to know why we do it? If you can handle, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but if you can withstand the entirety of it, I guarantee a blessing. You take me up on that? Let me show you something. What does it mean to be a good Berean? You know, line upon line, precept upon precept, right? Here a little, there a little. That's quoted from Isaiah 28. Verse 10, you see there, or let's go to verse 9. It says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from milk and drawn from the breast? For precept must be upon precept, a precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Now in Hebrew, those words are zar latso, excuse me, zal latso, zal latso, kal laku, kal laku, and I think I'm messing that up. But um, the point is that word precept. You know what precept means? It's a general rule intended to regulate the behavior of thought. In other words, it's a principle. It's a tenet, it's a doctrine, it's a canon, a command, right? So what does it mean to be a good Berean in rightly dividing the word to get to this precept, right? You may have noticed on this channel that we've gone to some, what some may call radical, radical changes. I want to show you why, why that is. Um, and the secret of that is in Psalm 119, folks. Um, now, if you look at it in the King James, you'll notice that it's broke up like this. 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. That's the key to this. Then there's eight verses after each letter, right? So we got Aleph, and then you are, you're given eight verses, and then Bet, and then you're given eight more verses. Gimel, eight more verses. Dollar eight more verses and so on and so on and so on. Now this this study could go on for two hours, but I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to give you the very summarized version of that because uh, it's it's uh, it's probably better for you this way. If you want to know more, you need to be in a in a program somewhere learning Hebrew because it goes deep. All right. So what does it say? It says, "Blessed are the undefiled that walk in the way who walk who walk in the law of Yahuwah." Uh, and it is the name there. We we go back to ISR. You'll see that restored name. Blessed are the perfect in the way who walk in the Torah of Yahuwah. Blessed are those who observe his witness, who seek him with all their heart. Yea, they shall do no unrighteousness. They shall walk in his ways. Is that you? Is that? Am I talking about you? Listen to me. You have commanded us to guard your orders diligently. Oh, that my ways were established to guard your laws. Then I would not be ashamed when I look into all your commands. I thank you with the uprightness of heart when I learn the right rulings of your righteousness. I guard your laws. Oh, do not leave me entirely. How, how would a young man cling, cleanse his path to guard it according to your word? I have sought you with all my heart let me not astray from your commands. I have treasured up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Yahuwah, teach me your laws. With my lips I have recounted all the right rulings of your mouth, and I have rejoiced in the way of your witness as, as over all riches, and I meditate on your orders and guard your ways. Now, looking at the KGV, you can see a word that stands out um, in this. I will meditate on thy precepts. Okay, you see this word over and over. Now, this is the, 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 the quick version of this because, guys, there's, there's 170 something verses, and I'm not going to do that to you because you can get this really quickly. I'm going to show you how with uh, actually this app right here. This is something we use in our school, very good resource. And uh, I want to show you precepts. 
All right. Here we see Psalm 119. All oh, blessed are they that unfiled in the way who keep the law of Yahuwah. Uh, the first time you see precepts is in, in verse 4. Next time you see it is in verse 15, 27, 40. And you see how many times precepts are, are used. So let's let's look at those. Um, 119.4 Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. I will meditate on thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. Um, 119.27 Make me to understand the, way, understand the way of thy precepts. Understand what's going on here. Make me to understand thy way of thy precepts, so I shall talk of thy wondrous works. Understand what's going on here, folks. You'll get it in a minute. I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me unto in thy righteousness. We're going to only read the verses um, with precepts. 45. Behold, I have longed after thy Excuse me. 45. And I will walk in liberty, for I seek thy precepts. 56. This I had because I kept thy precepts. 63. I am a companion of all of them that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. 119.69. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. 78. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. 87. And they that uh, they had almost consumed me upon the earth, but I forsook not thy pre precepts. 87. And they almost, excuse me, 93. I will never forget thy precepts, for they, uh, for them, for with them thou hast quickened me. 94, and again, right after that, he, he says in the next verse, And I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. Then we go to verse 100. I understand more than the ancients, because I kept thy precepts. 104. Though thy precepts I, I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Right? 110. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. 128 uh, is like this. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. 134. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so I will keep all thy precepts. Right? The, the, <laughs> the false doctrines of man. Listen. If you haven't got it by now, you will in just a few moments, I guarantee you. 119, 141, I am small and despised, yet do not I forget thy precepts. 119, 59, how I love thy precepts, quicken me, O Yahuwah, according to thy loving kindness. And then 173, let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. Folks, over and over and over in Psalm 119. And if you haven't already, I would encourage you. And this is why we didn't do it in this video because I would lose half the viewers doing so. Go and read that whole chapter and you will see something really amazing. So f let me just cut to the chase um, and show you what I'm talking about here. The word precepts or precepts of you. You can see here in the um, Hebrew, it's pakudi. The word pechudi is precepts of you. Thy precepts. Right? Folks, the reason why I believe that these codes are here for us is so that we can reconcile His words. To know what His precepts are. Because we have a church of confusion running amok in the world today. Every man knows what his interpretation of any given scripture is. 
But what if I told you there was a way to know what the Father means? Teach me your precepts. The precepts of you, right? That word is pakudi in Hebrew. If you drop the first letter of this word, you get the word codes. This is the modern translation of Bible codes, kodi or kodim. And it is the key <laughs> to reconciling his words, folks. It is the it is the key. And this is what I've been trying to teach you guys from this channel. Now I know there's a lot of garbage on YouTube concerning codes. But they're misused. The basis of the, the primary reason for these codes are not to predict the future. Even though the future is contained in the scriptures, I believe it's to bring us back to what he means. This is why you've seen the radical change on this channel. The, the coming back to the name. The coming back to the Torah. Did you see an outline there? And I will call Psalm 119 the Psalm of the Code Searchers because if you read that, that is pretty much describes the characteristics of those that we have in our school. And we have 19 students currently. We started out with 30. Not all are with us still. If you want to get involved, and I'm making a call out right now. If you want to get involved, if you want to study the word like you've never studied it before, I would encourage you to go to decodesearcher.com and you can go to the apply tab there. Apply for the school. Talk to me on the phone and we'll get you enrolled. Folks, Chris Ray and myself cannot do this work alone. These books are sealed until the end for the end time remnant. You can be a part of unsealing these books. We'll teach you good methodology and a foundational Hebrew to do that. I need some students. If you're not able to be a student, you can help this ministry in other ways. Let me show you something. Currently, what you're looking at right now is the analytics for code search. And I'm making myself very vulnerable right now to, to prove a point. Uh, we are not wealthy over here on this uh, island just because we live here. Let me make that perfectly clear. We bring in a roughly right now average of $106 on this channel through ad revenue. Folks, we cannot sustain it. Because of the algorithms and, and the way YouTube has it now, it's very difficult for us to make it on YouTube. So I need my supporters. I need those that, are, that have previously before been donators to come back to help us out. And if you can't do that, then sign up and let us teach you how to search the codes. Be a part of the school. We need help in this ministry to, to sustain this. And we need your help. Prayerfully need your help. Pray about it. Ask the Father what he would have you do. Uh, to keep us, if you've been blessed by this presentation, if you've been blessed by any presentation on uh, this channel from students or from Darla, uh, I would invite you to please consider helping us out prayerfully. Consider partnering with us. It's not easy, guys, and it's it's not a glamorous life. Uh, you know, we're not raking in the money, as you can see. They make it very difficult. We are bringing in pennies, literally pennies, for the videos that, that are out there. So if you have, have you been edified, uh, if you've been brought to a truth in any way, if you've been blessed, we ask that you, that you would help us out. Thank you. Yeshua bless you and keep you and be looking out for the new work coming ahead. We got a lot coming your way. Help us out in Yeshua's name. And I know you'll be blessed. Um, I don't like doing videos like this, guys. But as you can see, what I showed you from Psalm 119, that there is a there's a deeper message that our scriptures hold. What you've been taught in in you know your churches by pastors and theologians, just part of the story. How do we know the truth? There's a way to do that. Is through these codes. I personally believe 
that the reason we have them is concealed in Daniel. It tells us right there that these books are sealed until the end of days. When knowledge is increased and man is running to and fro, and that is the time we're living in now, the end of days, we have now the technology. Even though you may not speak Hebrew, you can get around the language barrier with technology. Help us un and unseal these books, and you can do that by being a student. Otherwise, we need you to help us with a donation, and you can do that with the link down below. So that's all I have for you. We thank you for your support, and Yeshua bless you. Shalom.